Today we're looking at the new CZ457 Camo Stainless. And as the name suggests, it's got a stainless steel barrel, uh, which is new, and contrasts nicely with the lewd steel action. And a camouflage composite polymer stock, so of, of a sporter design. So quite unique looking and very, very practical if you want to shoot rabbits or any vermin. The barrel, let's look at the barrel first. The barrel on this model is 20 inches. It's got a typical sporter profile with a half inch UNF threaded muzzle. So universal fitment for cell monitors, which is very handy here in the UK. You'll also notice as well that there is a lot of gap between the barrels. So the barrel channel, which is I think is obviously channeled for a varmint as well as a sporter. So it gives you a lot of space around the barrel. So there's no problems with that stock interfering with the barrel and the harmonics when you shoot, causing inconsistent accuracy. And when you put it on the bipod, you can get a little bit of recoil, a bounce on it, which is, you know, on a 2 3 fire, it will be negligible. But if you shoot off a hard surface, it's not going to interfere with the accuracy on your, uh, your barrel. The Polymer Sporter stock, uh, moulded in two halves, is, it's got a nice rigidity to it and this new camo design uh, on this model, which is a digital camo, you know, all the vogue these days, is actually very, very nice looking. I'm not really into camo, but it actually does disrupt the uh, outline of the CZ very nicely. And um, of course it's got soft touch finish, which not only gives a nice soft touch, it's a little bit warmer on the old cheek when you're firing it. And if you're not happy with that, then you've got additional, these raised panels to the fore end and radiating out the pistol grip. So it gives you that little bit of extra grip if you need to, because you're out shooting rabbits or crows or feral pigeons, you often sit in a funny position and you may want that bit of extra grip. You've got a, a plastic butt pad, but it's got a little bit of finish to that as well, not too bad. And you also have uh, these covered soft touch um, sling swivels. And there's two at the front, so you can have a QD swivel here and a bipod or vice versa. And then what's quite nice is they're actually covered in this soft polymer so they don't rattle if you've got a metal sling swivel qd they won't rattle on there too much so overall very nice stock indeed we'll look at the bedding later when i take the um, barrel action out the 457 action is completely different from the older uh, 455 series or 452 or 453 as we remember them the primary difference is the repositioning of the bolt handle instead of the back of the bolt like it used to be it's now not midsection but it's very very it's far further forward with a nice but, um, turned down bolt handle in steel and blued. It's a nice low bolt lift, as you'd expect. But you do have to be a bit careful. When this comes up here, on scope mounts which have large knurled securing screws, like this on the sports match, you have to reverse them so they are pointing this on this side of the action. Otherwise, they will interfere with the free movement of the bolt. That's just one thing to notice, you know, be careful of that. BKL mounts, other mounts, they don't, they're flush fit there, you have no problem. Uh, just, just one thing I'd mention, but it's very short, swift action on this 457. You also get a cocking indicator at the back uh, on the bolt shroud, so you know when the, the action is actually cocked. And also, very interestingly as well, the older series used to have the safety catch on the bolt shroud, or the back of the bolt. Now they've changed it to a side lever, which is more convenient and it's very, very simple to use. It's forward is fire, red indicator, reversing, showing the white dot, and now you're safe. That means you can't pull the trigger, won't fire, but you can operate the bolt. So if you need to release a round from the chamber, you can, but it's still unsafe. So actually that's a nice little feature to have. And it's quite, well, I say quite quiet, it's actually very quiet to use, which is another good feature on a, uh, a vermin gun or when you're out shooting rabbits. If we take the bolt out, it has a little bolt release here on the left hand side. Slide the bolt out. And now hopefully you see that on the bolt you have your typical twin extractor claws, which really 
give a really good grip on the cases. I had no problems with you know little uh, CB longs, uh, reduced loads, all the subsonic rounds, HV came out no problem at all. Ejection is via the spur in the um, the action as usual on a 2-2 rim fire. You have a guide here on the back of the bolt which means there's no binding as you uh, move the bolt backwards and forwards and basically a very typically CZ made good quality bolt. With the stock removed uh, by two securing screws you can see that there's um, a steel recoil lug here. You also got well, what constitutes a plastic pillar here and a half size pillar here which stops the stock and the um, compressing when you tighten the uh, stock screws. It's also highly lightened but it's rigid because of these uh, little bands through here. So we'll set this aside. Now let's look at the barrel action. As you can see this has a characteristic barrel chain, barrel chain system. Where there's two Allen screws here which are loosened, barrel can be slid off and then a new barrel can be slid back in obviously with the corresponding correct uh, magazine type. It's a very simple system uh, and kits are easily available. Another nice feature on this 457 as we discussed earlier was a new trigger group. Uh, this is adjustable for weight and pull and when we tested this model this was just over three pounds which again is a sensible weight on a, a sporting gun especially for verbi you've got cold hands etc. Um, and I must admit, you know, as with all CZ rifles, very good trigger, no problem at all. Safety very quiet to use. And basically just really nice designed action, actually. So let's take her out in the field and see how she shoots. We're now gonna use some uh, 22 rim fires uh, on the targets and get some velocities. This is a new CCI suppressor round. It uses the uh, heavier 45 grain bullet instead of the 40 grain. Uh, it's still a hollow point and it's subsonic. So let's see how she works. Yeah, nice group, very nice. Next, we're going to try one of my all time favourites, the Ely Subsonics. Again, uh, a hollow point and they've now gone reduced down from 40 grains to 38 grain, but they're always accurate, so let's see how they shoot in this uh, CZ. Again, nice and quiet. And just a really consistent load. Yeah, that's practically going through the same hole. Oh, these are the new Norma. Uh, these are a 40 grain subsonic hollow point, and I'll be finding these are very consistent and very well priced. So let's see how they shoot. Yeah, nice and quiet. That's three almost through the same hole. Impressive, that's really good. It's just one big enlarged hole. Uh, another round I really like is the RWS Z Lang that uses a uh, 29 grain round nose bullet. It's not hollow point, but it's incredibly quiet. It has a sort of uh, lower velocity about 700 to 800 feet per second. Uh, and we, a bit, bit like an FAC air, rated air rifle, to be honest with you. And we use those for shooting ferals or rats where it's safe to do so. Let's see how she shoots. It's so quiet. Uh, we're zeroed at 30 yards now with the Ely Subsonics. We shot really good groups. Let's see how she shoots at 50 yards and the drop in trajectory at that range.
Zero at 30 yards with the subsonics. We've seen how she shoots at 50 yards. Let's see how she shoots at 75 yards. We now shot at 30 yards and 30 yards zero. We shot at 50 and you saw the slight drop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-zero and shoot at the head of the crow at 75 and see what sort of group we get, okay? 